Hello and welcome. My name is Alex Tennant. I'm, I'm delighted uh, to be your host today. Uh, we're here to announce a key milestone in Aparam's uh, sustainability journey, key for both the uh, company itself and for its customers. I'm delighted to be with Nicolas Changeur. You are Aparam CEO of Services and Solutions and CMO for Stainless and Electrical Steel. Europe, uh, welcome. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you, Alex. I think you're, you have some exciting news to start with. Exactly, Alex. Uh, indeed, in May 2021, Aperam has announced its uh, intention to acquire ELG. And I am very proud uh, to announce today to our customer that we have obtained all regulatory approval in order to proceed with this acquisition. Perfect news. Thank you very much indeed. Now, I know the uh, sustainability uh, strategy uh, is very important uh, to you. How is the uh, acquisition you've just told us about of ELG in line with this? Well, ELG uh, is a very big company, a global company of uh, plus minus 1,300 uh, employees uh, worldwide in 52 locations. So we uh, serve 81 countries on five continents. And the core business of uh, ELG is to purchase, to collect scrap, to reprocess it, and then to sell it uh, to uh, companies uh, like uh, Aperam. On the other hand, Aperam stands out by a very high use of uh, scrap content in its production. So uh, ELG and Aperam fit uh, perfectly together and uh, ELG will be a strong asset in our objective to uh, become carbon neutral in 2050. And this will enable Aperam to uh, accelerate this transition. Now, this all sounds uh, very promising. Uh, is this uh, acquisition also a way to secure uh, long-term access to scrap? In fact, it's a very strategic question. It's a strategic question for Aperam, but also for the uh, European community because in the uh, climate transition toward the uh, carbon neutral process, uh, as you uh, maybe know, there will be a much higher demand in specialty steel, especially stainless steel and our high alloy steel. And in order to produce it, we need the raw material. And you probably know that uh, the European countries lack, uh, especially for alloys and uh, metal ore in order to produce this steel. And uh, this acquisition is really uh, for us very important and strategic in order to secure uh, our supply of raw material. And it is uh, very much aligned with the policy of the European com uh, community uh, to um, uh, push the circular economy. So I see it fits in perfectly with the European um, agenda. Um, now, what about your uh, customers? How do they benefit from this acquisition? Uh, th there is a very uh, important subject uh, for customers that I would like to, to reinforce. Uh, when you look uh, on this slide, for example, uh, you can see that you have on one, s on one side uh, the Asian producers, and those Asian producers produce uh, stainless steel uh, based on um, a blast furnace and uh, with uh, nickel pig iron and uh, metal ores. And this process is highly polluting. Um, overall, the, this kind of process uh, results in a CO2 emission of about 5 to 12 tons of CO2 per stainless steel. So at the end of the day, what is my key message? My key message is that all stainless steel are not created equally. And in fact, on the other end of the spectrum, you have the European producers. And those European producers use electrical air furnace with a high content of scrap. This process results in much lower CO2 emission, approximately two tons of CO2 per stainless steel. And Aperam in particular is already a company which offers the lowest CO2 footprint of the market. By acquiring ELG, we are able to integrate the upstream supplies in our uh, production process and we will be able to leverage this acquisition and to further reduce 
our CO2 footprint. So if I understand, the aim of this is to build a kind of a circular economy loop with your clients. Yes, yeah, that's exactly that. From scrap to steel and back to scrap indefinitely. Where, when you look at what uh, our end users are producing, we are producing a wide range of uh, so they are producing a wide range of solution and applications. Those uh, applications have a very uh, long uh, lifespan, uh, up to in fact 50 years if you take, for example, uh, building applications. But at some point in time, all this steel will become scrap. And that's where ELG come into play. The core business of ELG is to collect this scrap, to reprocess it into the raw material that then Aperam will uh, use in order to produce stainless steel. And then our customer will use this steel in order to transform it into their end product. And so it is an indefinite uh, loop, if you want. And, and so uh, for us, it's really a fantastic news because uh, this uh, model of company, which is, by the way, uh, the only one uh, in the world, is really at the heart of uh, the circular economy. We are using the two core pillars of the circular economy that the European Commission wants to push, which is to reuse and to recycle. What would be your one takeaway uh, to, to, to leave us all with? As said earlier, Aperam is a company which is very much committed in order to become carbon neutral. Together with ELG, we are able to create a, a single company, a new type of business model, a fully circular uh, company that will be able to very fast uh, become uh, carbon neutral, leveraging all, all our assets, ELG for uh, the collection and recycling of uh, scrap, Bioenergy uh, for our coal, uh, Recico where we recycle also uh, fines in order to be uh, completely carbon neutral and a circular company. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Nicolas. That was very clear. Thank you. And thank you also for watching.